Happy Saturday, CFW. Um, today's workout is double pyramid Helen. So for a classic workout Helen, but we're gonna be doing it twice in a pyramid style. So you're starting off with a row or a bike. 1,200 meters for the guys, 1,000 for the ladies. You're gonna row that many meters, or you can get on the bike and go for 60 calories uh, for the guys and 45 for the ladies. Then you're gonna go into 63 kettlebell swings at 24 kilos for the guys and 16 for ladies, and then 36 pull-ups. Next round, we're decreasing the amount on the rower and on the bike, and then the kettlebells are gonna be lower in reps as well, going 42 and 24 pull-ups there. And the same idea as you go down as well. So you're dropping in about, um, about 12 reps every round there, um, and uh, again, your pace should slowly start to um, in these styles of workouts. Now, this workout is a longer workout and it's a little bit different than uh, yesterday's workout. Same idea as yesterday's as it was decreasing reps. With this one, there's a lot more volume. So you want to think about more of um, starting off slow, getting a good pace, um, and really trying to get your movements consistent uh, as you're going. So with the kettlebell swings, um, I wouldn't try to do them all unbroken right off the bat, even if you know you can. Maybe break them up in sets of 20. Um, sets of 21, three sets of 21 would be perfect for this. Something that's manageable um, throughout, I would say at least two thirds of the workout. Once you get to the end there, um, this is where you wanna kind of be um, pushing and really trying to do as many of broken reps as you can uh, to kind of finish off fast at the end of the workout. Now, maybe you're not maybe going unbroken, but it might be that you're bringing your intensity up higher. So you're taking less breaks in between sets there. Um, to finish the workout off fast. You have 30 minutes to complete this. Um, and so the first set, so let's say from the row all the way to the pull-ups here, should take you about 12 minutes. So no longer than 12. Then for the second half, or not the second half, but the second round there, I would say about 10 minutes. And then the last round, about eight minutes, which should give you about 30 minutes total. And that's a good way to kind of keep track uh, of the workout and where you are within it. Um, so far with the movements, the kettlebell swings, I was saying around 15 to 20 reps should be uh, manageable to do with the weight that you choose. With the pull-ups, I would say be able to do at least 10 reps. So whatever progression you use, whether it be kipping, butterfly, um, jumping pull-ups, you can't really keep them broken. So as long as you can keep a pace, continuously doing jumping pull-ups for 10 reps, I would say definitely use that for the workout. And again, ring rows are always an option uh, for those pull-ups. Uh, so, again, this workout is designed to work on both the weightlifting, cardio aspect, and uh, working on gymnastics. So it's all around, we're working on all three different movements here with the row, with the kettlebell swings being the weightlifting component, and the pull-ups being the gymnastics. So uh, this is a really classic uh, style workout, uh, classic CrossFit style workout there. So make sure you guys write this one down, keep track of it. We will do it in the future at some point. Um, and it will give you a good indicator where your um, strength and endurance is at with both weightlifting, uh, with the monostructural component being the row or the bike, and your gymnastics where your pull-ups are at. So definitely a good one to write down and keep track of, guys. Um, other than that, hope you guys all finish this workout and uh, enjoy the rest of your Saturday.